The clear path comes in two different versions, the 250 square millimeter and 350 square millimeter. I think this is quite debatable in terms of where we use what. I typically find surface area does help in lowering pressure to a greater extent. So when I need the lowest pressure possible with the tube shunt, I go to a bigger implant, like a 350. This does require more tissue manipulation, getting the implant under the muscles, however. The 250 is attractive, because we don't have to typically dissect under the muscles. Pressure lowering may not be as low as the 350. However, some studies perhaps show some comparability. But I like that implant in patients where maybe I'm a little bit more concerned about hypotony. Uh, patients who don't necessarily need a very low pressure. So for example, uveitics, where I worry about hypotony, nevascular glaucoma, where I'm not looking for a very low pressure, a very old patient we may have the reduction in aqueous production. Those are some of the patients where I look at a 250. So in my hands, I use both 250 and 350, depending again on the pressure target and the underlying condition and the age of the patient.